Well, ladies and gentlemen, obviously it was a crazy night last night, the Donald Trump assassination attempt. We've learned some different things. There's a lot of questions regarding the security and some aerial shots around the event. I'm going to try and give a full breakdown of kind of what's going on right now. Apparently they have identified the shooter. There were a few different names that were floating around. The problem when you get all this information, it's all through social media and it's all in real time. A lot of it ends up being false. So I thought it would be better instead of doing like four or five videos last night just to, to wait for more things to come out. The, the person apparently is Thomas Matthew Crooks or, you know, Thomas Crooks. And look, the, I, I know people say, oh, he's a Republican. He's a registered Republican. I mean, number one, why would he shoot Trump? Trump's literally winning all the polls. It doesn't make any sense. And they're like, oh, he's disenfranchised. It's just pure liberal cope. We've got Crooks donating to the Democrats. It's clear he was one. Where is his social media? How, did he not have a social media on anything? How has no one been able to find it? You find his Twitter, I'm sure there's evidence he's probably very far left. I mean, to do something like this and then people saying, well, it couldn't just be him. There's got to be other people involved. You can see him. This was him at his graduation. Uh, he just looks like a scrawny liberal twat that you would find in Seattle, Washington. Look at him right there. There he is at his graduation. So I did want to show this. We've also got people going off on potential DEI practices in terms of secret security detail hirings. You've got these two women. It's like a scramble for Africa right behind Trump. They're literally turning in circles doing nothing. I don't know what this is. Let's just take a look at this. You can see Dinesh D'Souza talking about it. Here they are. Look at these women. What are, you, what are they doing? They're not doing anything. I mean, so obviously, and now tr people saying Trump needs private security. The secret security isn't good enough. They wanted to take away Trump's, you know, secret security when he got the felony charges. These people are uh, horrible. They're completely evil. They're all lashing out now. So many uh, Congress people, Democrats, high ranking ones coming out and admitting that they were very sad that that Trump was not killed. And you, you would say, oh, that's terrible. But, but this is who they are. It's so fake bravado. These are the same people that say, oh my God, you're so mean. You need to let people into the country. You're anti-human. And then meanwhile, they're doing this. They're, they're, this is a former president, potentially future president. At this point, I would say very, very likely future president. And they're mad. They're mad that the shooter did not kill him uh, because this has been something that's been talked about for weeks. I, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me at all if, if Crooks was not a heavy Reddit user and was possibly radicalized by Reddit. I'm not even kidding. People always talk about 4chan, 8chan. Well, Reddit in terms of left wing, I mean, there, there's people threatening Trump by the second on Reddit and they're getting thousands and thousands of upvotes. It is a liberal cesspool to the 10th degree. So it wouldn't surprise me at all. It's like, you know, why did it take so long to find out who Crooks was? Where's the social media accounts? I know there's been some floating around. I don't really believe that's him. There was one that was potentially connecting him uh, to like left-wing groups. That wouldn't surprise me. When you look at the Instagram, it does not look like him. Um, so it's like they've all been scrubbed. I really don't know about that situation. And then we've got the counter sniper. And this is what everyone's been talking about. And I was very, uh, it was just weird to me. When you see the video, it came out, I would say, two or three hours after the shooting of this sniper, uh, you know, looking at the shooter because the shooter is, you know what, let me go to the aerial shot to break this down. There's all this other stuff I know. Here he is right here. And again, there's th there was another person that possibly could have been in it. It was rumored. I retweeted it. Roger Stone was talking about it. I think it is crooks. It it's all about the ears. I know the other dude had like these crazy piercings. Um, so I do think it is crooks. This is a crazy interview. You know what? Maybe we'll sit here. I don't know about four minute interview, but so this dude basically says that they were at obviously the Trump rally, Pennsylvania. There were so many people there. They either got there late or they were in the back. And so they said, rather than go up to hear Trump talk because they would be in the way back, they said, let's just stay, you know, even further back and, and we can listen to him from the loudspeakers, things like that. So they were so far back, they could see the shooter, and they said like he crawled up. I'm, I'm not sure. There, apparently, there was a ladder over there 
how does the ladder get there? Did did the shooter bring the ladder? Obviously, it was like, you could see it was just like a makeshift ladder. It wasn't like it was like an actual ladder to the roof. It's like a ladder you have to put up and it's at an angle and you climb up it. But this dude says that, I mean, they had seen a dude Navy crawling on the roof. This is what I think happened. Crooks was trying not to be detected, so he was on the roof crawling for like two or three minutes trying to get into position. And you know how roofs are, you know, they... um they go at an angle. I'm just not sure what side he was on of, of the roof, or maybe this was a, no, this was not a straight roof. Cause, cause I, cause you see the photo of him dead, but this dude and other people were, were, they were wondering why is Trump still on the stage? This is before a shot was fired. So this is why people are starting to think, I mean, I mean, how do you not think like, like what's going on? Did they just let this happen? I mean, you have, if you have bystanders, you are the secret service and you have bystanders wondering before the potential assassination even happens, why is Trump still on the stage? That is very, very, uh, you know, it, it's just crazy that, that how, how does that happen? It doesn't make any sense. You would think that in an ideal world, the, the Secret Service would be taking out the shooter before any of the bystanders even knew the shooter existed. Th th that's, that's what they should be doing. Um, but it gets to the point where this dude's like, uh, why is Trump, like five seconds before the shooter starts shooting, why is Trump even still out there? Let me see if I can find that. Air, that. And he, he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You saw him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely. At least three to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police from the Secret Service. We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see Binoculars. Him? Could they see him? Probably not because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But and yes, that, that, that that's key. So, so you know with roofs, the angles, he was behind... Uh, Perched up, protected behind the angle is what they're saying. Well, then that must have been a hell of a shot to kill him. But why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? But how is it... This is the craziest part of the whole thing. If you were going to try and... Based on this this format and this setup, obviously the Secret Service is tasked with going to all these places beforehand, understanding the weak points. I saw a big thread on it that was very informative that's like the number one roof where someone would try and attempt an assassination. It's literally the one roof that's like right outside the grounds that where to where it's not obvious. It's not like this was a crazy shot that was way, way far away. Uh, it, it was relatively close. That's what people were saying. Um, so this is, there's a few, I don't know which one was the good one. This is probably the best one. You can see it is literally the first building apparently they're like they were saying plastics and and i don't know what they make in those buildings but uh this was just you know obviously trump setting up his rally in a field there is the uh you know trump stage in the red there is where the uh, sniper would have been the counter sniper so the counter sniper right here perched up at this angle going down looking right at i mean that's just but, but it's like those roofs are so close. How is it? How is any of that even? How, how is there no security detail even out here? Now, they're saying it was off the grounds. You can see the tree line right here. Trump speaking right here. All of his supporters would be around. But it we don't understand how are these roofs even accessible? How is there not security detail around all of these? If you're going to attempt something, obviously, you're not going to go right here where the you know, the, the closest security detail is going to be considering Trump is speaking right here. You're going to have to go from a little bit further away. So it, it, I mean, it's just very surprising that the dude was able to waltz up there. And then I would imagine probably get up there around here, army crawl, try and not show himself because the roof's at an angle and then uh, open fire. And th there's questions. And this is what doesn't make any sense. If you watch the video of the counter sniper, people are like, oh, he immediately shot back. I don't think he was shooting there. L like the first three bullets, I believe, were from Crooks, who was trying to kill Trump. The, it seemed like the counter sniper was repositioning, but it's it, it's very damning because there's video. And, and let me see if I can find this. Well, this is a crazy photo right here. So I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure everyone has seen the one photo of Trump where the bullet is literally whizzing past him, past him. So I believe the bullet is behind Trump and it's it's going so fast that you can like see it. 
um, and it goes behind Trump, and then, or, or, or I'm not sure exactly, maybe it was it was already hitting Trump, but uh, it clips his ear, and you can see the bullet right there. You can see Trump go for his ear, and then blood right there. So, I mean, this is crazy that it, it was centimeters away. And then this is just very, very, I don't even know what to make of this. Trump speech interrupted by Secret Service. What in the fuck is that headline? What? How do you watch that? And, and Trump, there were literally shots and they rushed Trump off the stage. Trump speech interrupted by gunshots. That's the, I mean, I, mean, I, I don't, you know, it, it, the media's reaction to this, it's like, do they not know it's 2024? People are going to know whether you want them or not that this is an assassination attempt. Listen, this is very important. And, and that's why Trump needs to come out with a statement today, calming everyone down. We have the political leverage now. I know it sounds weird, but with this assassination attempt, the right finally has the political political leverage after three and a half long years of dealing with January 6th. We finally have the political leverage back. Do not do anything. Do not go after Biden or anything like that. We want to face Biden. And, and so it's important. We finally have the political leverage. Now we're, Trump's only going to go up even more in the polls. But this is very important in terms of politics. They're the ones that did it. They tried to kill Trump. It was their right. I mean, my God, you want to talk about rhetoric. They've called Trump Hitler for eight years. What do you, I, mean, I mean, this is literally the perfect example. They always talk about Trump's rhetoric. I mean, there is clip after clip after clip after clip after clip after clip. I, I can't say it, and I could say it for an hour and talk and say it clip after clip after clip. I mean, it's all of them. And then even after Trump survives, they start lashing out and and getting angry that Trump was not killed. And now you've got all these people on TikTok. I've seen videos of it. This is how uh, demented they are. And listen, this is their democracy again. I mean, no, it, it, no, 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 it, it makes sense. It, oh my God, they want to save democracy. The purest form of democracy is if you're losing to your political opponent in all the polls, try and jail him. When that doesn't work, just try and kill him. It's, oh my God, the Democrats, they're trying to save democracy. They're trying to save democracy by elevating misdemeanor charges that never would have happened if it was anyone else other than Trump. So they're trying to jail him so he can't run. But it didn't work, so we have to go to plan B. It's an audible. Let's just kill him. And that doesn't work. And now they're lashing out and they're angry that Trump's not dead. And they're going to get annihilated in the election. I mean, this is... Look, look, look you, people need to go vote. I understand that. But um, it is crazy. So I, I believe I, I uh, fast, for, fast forwarded. So there it is right there. there there's two of them. And, and they're looking right at the dude. Now, obviously, again, it's at an angle, so I would imagine, but they they shot him like, they, they, they killed him like right away. After the first few bullets, uh, Crooks fired, he was apparently dead, or like after maybe eight to ten bullets. The problem is people were saying that when Crooks fired immediately, they were like, this is the counter sniper taking him out. I don't think he fired right away. It didn't look like it. It looked like he was repositioning. I think you would have been able to tell if he fired. The question is, I mean, the dude's looking through his scope. What is he seeing exactly? L you know, I, I don't know. So the thing is, they can say, well, he didn't know if he had a gun. He didn't want to take the shot. Crooks was concealed behind where the wall is at an angle. But, but the problem is, why is there already not security detail over there? That's like the prime roof. This is literally, you know, I don't want to say it, but like the prime assassination spot. It's the first roof that's just off the premises to where, and, and I know there was another roof to the, to like the, the Southwest as well, but I'm just saying like, it's not like this is some crazy elaborate thing to where the dude was trying to hit a, a ridiculous money shot from the top of a tree in camo, no, he just, he walked up a ladder and, and army crawled and, and then shot Trump. I mean, that's what happened. So uh, there's obviously a lot of people, uh, I, New York Times, I, like this stuff, I, I just, do they not think, do they think we don't have X? Do they think we don't have social media? Do they think we can't see what's going on? Trump hurt but safe after shooting. Well, no, uh, Trump, they, they tried assassinating Trump and he survived. Like, let's just call it what it is. I, I just, I don't understand. I, they're, they're trying to control the narrative. Trump's event, the stage right here, here's the shooter. 
and yeah, so the bullet would go right, whiz right past Trump, just like you see in that photo. You do have the counter sniper team right here, and uh, blood on the bleachers as well, and then other bleachers set up. So, so the counter sniper team. Oh, the counter sniper team would have been here. They're saying. I don't know. Th those don't look like the same buildings. Maybe it was different. Uh, oh no, it was just a different roof. So they are saying the counter sniper team would have been here. No, I think the counter sniper team was here based on looking at the video. Um, but you can see Trump's ear. So, the, so the bullet literally did graze him. There was also a report that Trump didn't get hit by a bullet. He got hit by fragments from the t from fragments from the teleprompter, which I don't believe is true because Trump confirmed it. I think it would have already come out. Both of the teleprompters were fine. Um, and the, if you're going to hit a teleprompter, the, the thing would just shatter, so it doesn't make any sense. But there was also that report that I saw. Uh, we also do have, I mean, these people, so this, this is a, this is a senator coming out while well, I'm praying for Trump, uh, President Trump, and hope he makes a full recovery. The extremist, uh, from the MAGA regime has brought this to the, to the most. So, so it's self-blame against Trump. It's all his fault. These people, they're lashing out. They know they're going to lose. They're going to get destroyed, especially with something like this where Trump survives. He puts his fist up. I mean, they have got to. I mean, even even they, some liberals were admitting, like, that's pretty badass. It is, it is, it's such an amazing photo in American history. And now, I mean, once we get the polls next week, the week after, I, I think it's going to be an absolute, I, I think, like, I want to see Trump up by four or five in New York. For something like this, surviving an assassination attempt, putting your fist up, and I mean, obviously, there's a lot of unanswered questions. People are starting to speculate: Was this? Did they let this dude, you know, shoot at Trump? My biggest question is, you know, people are talking about the counter sniper, and I agree because it looks like the counter sniper is is literally zoomed in, like looking through his scope as the dude is shooting at Trump, or as he's about to. He's looking at his scope. And the dude opened, opened fires. It's like, what are you looking at, man? Now, you could say, again, the guy was... But but they killed him right away. So you would think that's someone you have to take out immediately. Where is the communication from someone surrounding the event saying, I mean, there were people... T there were bystanders, like the dude I talked about earlier, saying that, why, you know, you, like, like they were yelling, there's somebody up there seconds before the shooting began. So how is there not at least one security radioing to the counter sniper team? There's somebody up there. You need to shoot this guy. Uh, okay, he's got a gun. People can see. They're telling me he's got a gun. I, I don't know how the dude is even able to walk up there with a ladder. And, and where'd the ladder come from? Because I don't think the ladder came from just standing there. It looked like it was leaned up against it like the ladder was broad or something. I, I mean, I don't know exactly. This is all going to have to come out. But... Um, I mean, the, the biggest problem is is like, how was he even able to get up there? That is the prime spot. To, if, you, if you're going to try and kill Trump, it, it would not be like right next to where the security detail is. It would be like the dude just, I don't know, man. It, it's very hard to, to uh, understand the security detail and, and, and what they were doing. And, and obviously everyone's saying it is uh, completely terrible in terms of what they were doing. Uh, yeah, people started saying it was staged, of course. And then, so there's this, this is the cope now. That is not, I repeat, not a gunshot wound. He faked it with a blood pill. It was a fake gunshot they used with a BB gun. <laughs> well, yes, that was the narrative immediately. They used a BB gun. Uh, they're screwed, man. They know they're screwed. They lost all the January 6th political leverage. All of it's gone in the matter of a few of like a few seconds with Trump getting shot at. Enjoy January 6th. I saw them still talking about January 6th. <laughs> January 6th, the ghost. The I mean, January 6th, I'll be honest, I, I have to admit. I mean, January 6th was worse than than, than Hiroshima. I, I, no, 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 you're right, you're right. Ja it's time to retire January 6th, it's over. Say goodbye, say goodnight to January 6th, and they're lashing out and saying it's a BB gun. They, they lost January 6th. No, it's like, it's worse than, for these people, it's like worse than losing a kid. I mean, that's how, they worship January 6th. It is the ultimate God. It is the Super Bowl. It is the Messiah. January 6th, January 6th, January 6th, January 6th, January 6th. They're praying in church right now for it. 
and they've lost it. They've lost the political leverage. Let me explain. In 2021, they had all the fake outrage about January 6th. They said Trump's a terrorist. Look at this, people breaking into the Capitol. Now we've got Trump getting shot at by a crazy liberal. So they've lost their leverage and they're lashing out and calling it fake. And they said it was staged immediately. So that's what's going on with that. Uh, But yeah, guys, overall, obviously a crazy situation. A lot of stuff still needs to come out. Uh, about, you know, the counter sniper, how the kid was able to waltz up there, more details surrounding the kid, the liberal cope saying the kid was a Republican. Number one, that's not confirmed. Number two, it was because he wanted to vote against Trump in the primary. So that's what you do. He also donated to Biden during his inauguration. And before this is a loon liberal, that's probably heavily on Reddit and they're trying to scrub all his accounts, and it's like, where is his, you know, so they've scrubbed all his accounts. Why can we not find a social media on him? You see a LinkedIn, possibly, of him, but but it's just crazy. This is what, I mean, this is, to, I, mean, I don't understand how people can't believe this is what they wanted. I mean, they wanted to, to kill Trump, so, so this is this goes right, and, and then they said after, they're like, I mean, we wanted to kill him, and, and we're, we're, we're angry he's not dead. That's That's their viewpoint. The Democratic Party's official viewpoint is, yes, we admit we wanted Trump assassinated. We're very sad now because he's not dead. So that's their viewpoint. And and they're the ones saying it. They said it. The senator said it. The the lady's like, oh, it's Trump, his extremism. You know, and then all the people on TikTok, all the people on Twitter, it's trending. How did they miss? You had one job. All of it's trending. This is the official viewpoint they're the ones saying it, and so I'm just I'm just orchestrating what it is. They're very sad right now, and and I mean they're right. I mean it is Sunday morning. So they're at church. They're praying to January six right now. Let let's let them pray to January six. But but it's like now they have to pray for January six. It's dead now. They don't have political leverage, and they're lashing out. And so I mean I they've a lot of these Democrats. You need to go to them, and they've like lost a child now because of what's happened. They've lost all the political leverage. I, listen, I got to talk to some Democrats. I, I, maybe I'll send them flowers or something. I don't know. It, it's it's very sad. Uh, but this is the stuff, and this is crazy. What is his angle? How is he able to kill the sh- the, 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 the shooter, and, and but he doesn't shoot before? It doesn't make any sense. How is there no eyes on the shooter when you've got bystanders who are behind the tree line or like right on the tree line where the rally grounds were saying that he's got a gun, why is Trump not off the stage a minute before the dude was Navy crawling for two or three minutes to get into position? He was up there for a few minutes, or we're going to get the, the official timeline, I'm sure, soon on everything that happened, but this is just kind of kind of the, the rough outline. How was this possible? It doesn't make any sense. It's crazy, and this is going to be an investigation, and people are already saying, well, Trump needs a private investigation. Apparently, Mike Johnson has said that they're going to be doing a private investigation. And then just all this, the we, the only way I can, I can uh, you know, quantify these headlines that not only came out today, this one came out today, I think, but um, yesterday especially, it's just very strange. I, again, do they think we don't have social media at our fingertips to where we can see Donald Trump getting shot at by someone. Okay, that is an assassination attempt. What, like, like, it's like, how dumb are you? You can say all you want and try and downplay it. There's video of it. So, so that's my opinion on that. But either way, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.